Hey there, Star Wars fans. Welcome back to Hyperspace Hangout here. Uh, Matt and Ez here. And as I thought we should quickly just do a brief overview of a character, you know, we, you and I actually don't really talk all that much about. Um, and that is Cad Bane, who has reemerged, right? We finally get to see him in live action. For those of you guys who are maybe watching this and you're unfamiliar, maybe you're somebody who's only watched the movies and the Mandalorian, the live action stuff. You're wondering who's this guy that just showed up and shot Cobb Vanth. Right. Well, as let's dive into it. Who is Cad Bane? Where's the best place to go find some backstory on him? And what makes him so interesting, cool, menacing? And well, he's pretty freaking awesome, to say the least. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's definitely had um, a lot of action in the Clone Wars. So for sure, that's that's where we're going to get a, like most of this. And we'll we'll kind of highlight some of the major, I guess, uh, events or battles that that took place there and kind of move out of the Clone Wars into our more recent stuff. But he's a he's a Duros. So from the homeworld of, of Duro, born in like 62 B, uh, BBY. And he's got these red eyes and this this blue He's no nose, right? Uh, pointed teeth. The cool thing about him is he's got these, uh, like the like the breathe like the breathing device, the apparatus that that supports uh, his. It's like removable breathing tubes and like a metal kind of uh, head plate, if you will. So it was kind of funny. You were mentioning Matt that the the speculation out there is that uh, he's not an easy guy to force choke. If that were yes. your plan, <laughs> yes, so. yes, exactly. And we did see Luke. Force choke somebody in Jabba's palace in episode uh, episode six, not of the, of Boba Fett, uh, the ep episode six of the movies, right? Um, Return of the Jedi, and of course Grogu uh, could do a, maybe a little force choke action, right? And so mm -hmm. it could be interesting if somebody tries tries to do that in the next episode and they're unable to do so. Right. Exactly. Yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting. Now, here's the other thing too. Uh, Cad Bane is is so renowned. Like he's been used by a lot of different individuals. Uh, Count Dooku actually hires him at one point. Uh, the Huts have hired him, and he has fought Jedi numerous times during the Clone Wars. So he has a lot of experience with that, and is a pretty pretty dangerous guy. And it's kind of like I was sitting there watching Cobb Vanth square off against him, and I thought. I don't think Cobb Vanth was, was going to stand no. a chance, but <laughs> again, I, I like to chalk it up to maybe that Marshall got in the way, but still um, one of his bigger events here, there was a hunt for a zero. So the huts kind of uh, yeah, called on Cad Bane to track down zero, the hut to escape from Nal Hutta. Uh, he then kind of comes across Obi-Wan Kenobi and Quinlan Voss back in the day as, as they're also trying to look, looking to recapture, zero the hut there so he's been a part of of that process he also was um a part of a prison break on on coruscant uh he has he gets in so in the episode um well, that's not the episode name but it's it's uh, the the tournament at sereno is where he starts to get closer to count dooku and it's through this relationship that he actually will be a part of a, a plot or a scheme to kidnap chancellor palpatine and so that that's kind of uh it's, it's, it's like a little arc inside of clone wars and you'll eventually come to a part where obi-wan kenobi is is hidden among uh the the group that he's with and he's known as a character hardeen and hardeen actually overpowers bane uh during a fight and is and it ends up um helping skywalker windu uh to arrest bane and sort of you know whatever but it's at that moment though that bane swears vengeance against kenobi as he's being detained and so the big thing was there that he has this real bitterness for obi-wan kenobi and so we're thinking about the show uh that's gonna be coming up the obi-wan kenobi standalone it won't surprise us now now that we've seen cad bane here well, matt you know right right well well we actually didn't we actually just saw the return of cad bane not that long ago Right. Right. Uh, in the Bad Batch, he shows up and he tries to sort of kidnap Omega and he and Finnick have a duel and Finnick kind of gets the better mm -hmm. of him there uh, a little bit at the end. So he's been around and he obviously has some history with Boba Fett. Um, so you go back to Clone Wars season seven. So really the best place to go see more Cad Bane is all of the animated stuff, which, yeah. you know, Clone Wars specifically. And then he shows up in the Bad Batch. Right. There's rumor speculation 
that Cad Bane was actually supposed to die in sort of the original plan for mm -hmm. Star Wars Clone Wars season seven before it got shut down when it was transferred when Disney bought Star Wars. And there was supposed to be a duel, right, between yeah. Boba Fett and Cad Bane. That's and right. presumably, right, the dent in Boba Fett's helmet came from this duel with Cad Bane. Right, right. It was uh, it was kind of a way to build up very quickly to to pit Boba Fett against a really well known notorious bounty hunter who had taken on the likes of Obi Wan Kenobi had worked along Count Dooku uh, had attempted to you know the kidnapping of the Chancellor tons of different things worked with the Huts so yeah there we go I mean just that well, that's him and that's him and Hunter right that that's him and Hunter yeah and Hunter's yeah. pretty I mean Hunter is no slouch Hunter is a you know he's an evolved sort of clone. And actually, in that episode where he shows up in the Bad Batch, he says something very interesting, which I think is a line that could be repeated, which he says to Hunter. He says, you know, I've killed so many clones in my in my lifetime. Uh, once you know, basically, once you know the trick, you can defeat any of them. Well, remember, mm -hmm. uh, Boba Fett is a clone. And uh, what uh, Bo-Katan said, you know, I've seen your face a million times. Yeah, you've never yeah. seen a face like this. Which right. is the truth. Okay. That's true. <laughs> That's true. So you wonder too: is there something that that Boba is going to? Is he, is he evolved in some way? Is it? We we believe there's going to be this this standoff between the two of them, and this is the showdown. It's going to be Cad Bane versus Boba Fett. Uh, so that will be cool to see if he does know a thing or two, if he has the upper hand on on Boba. And interestingly, he, they haven't come across each other, as far as we know, uh, right. in, in all this time. So I do think they did probably have a duel in the past and that's how Boba got his, 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 his helmet. I, th I think they're going to explain yeah. that because it yeah. was supposed to be, the, we were supposed to see that event, but it didn't right. happen because Clone Wars season seven, they kind of shifted some stuff around. Right. Um, once yeah. Disney finally greenlit it to bring it back, which was great. Um, but we didn't get like the full season seven to get to see some of these other events and things that would have happened. So we're getting it in live action, which is cool because we were talking about Bo the book of Boba Fett and we were saying, man, I wonder who this final person's going to be. It feels like, you know, our side, I guess, right, is building muscle. Who are they going to bring in? And we were talking around maybe Bosk. Maybe we yeah. were thinking Boss comes in. But uh, Cad Bane is an even better person to bring in for Boba to have a direct fight with. And I think the way it's going to go down is um Phoenix sort of gets the upper hand on Cad Bane when it shifts from a gunfight to a fist fight in mm -hmm. the Bad Batch. I'm going to presume that Cad Bane's maybe a little more skilled at fist fighting now, but I think ultimately it's going to come down to Boba and that gaffy stick. So I think that's the whole reason we've been training with that gaffy stick there in the beginning and I think that's going to, you know, he's using that Tuscan training that's going right. to cause him to sort of uh step it up to the to the to the next level. And yeah, because I think Cad, I think Cad Bane is a is is a is better is a better shot than Boba. I think Cad yeah. Bane, they they make it seem like Cad Bane is like perhaps the best shot, period. Oh, Matt, he's also got the quickest draw, right? The right. The, the fastest <laughs> yeah. hand, yeah. So so that was interesting. You can't you can't do what Hunter's doing right here. So the, I think what what Boba might do is he might use more of his armor and try to do different things because that's the other factor. He has the Mandalorian armor, but you're right. Eventually, at some point, that's just to get him close enough. That's just to kind of uh, repel some of that hot fire he's going to be under from Cad Bane to get him in close to that hand-to-hand -hand combat. And maybe the gaffy stick combat does come into play. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, because I do hope, and I I love I love everything we're getting with the Mandalorian, but I do hope the final episode of Book of Boba Fett is, you know, has has Boba in it. Uh, I guess this is you know what I'm trying. Yeah. To yeah. Uh, as opposed to like the cameo he's had like you know the right. last week uh, so i do hope we i, I think that's where they're going i think they've, they've yeah, set too. up all the stuff they needed to which is awesome i absolutely love it but it's like okay i, I do want to finish with with some boba fett here because this is you know like his show right so yeah yeah I, i'm with you i think that's what they're gonna do and i think it's gonna be a big big freaking battle he's gonna be leading the leading the charge here i don't know if we're gonna we'll probably have other other individuals showing up like you said uh mando maybe luke grogu who freaking knows but it will be boba fett uh, squaring off maybe something like this we might see them start off just like this like this this uh and so and keep in mind some very big secrets could be revealed in this episode especially if Phoenix sees cad bane because Phoenix was per 
Finnick was going after Cad Bane, they were both essentially hired to steal Omega, right. who is sort of, in a way, Boba's true sister, if you want to mm-hmm. look at it that way. Mm-hmm. Um, they're both like the two of the, I guess, original source clones, uh, Alpha and Omega. So, yeah. Nonetheless, a very, very cool stuff. But just a quick little guide as to who he is and where to sort of find him. Go look at Clone Wars. And I would say go look at Bad Batch. Just that little, that, those few little episodes that he's in. Um, that's the most recent we have of him. So with that, guys, as always, thank you for watching. If there's anybody else you want us to cover, anybody you want to refresh her on, just drop us a comment. Let us know. And as always, remember that traveling through hyperspace ain't like Dustin. Props. Props.